Rafina has refused to leave beauty even after she has left the show. Okay, so hey guys, here yeah, welcome back to my YouTube channel, Just Next, so where you get all around entertainment. Just okay, so this three O Deji, Fina, and Amaka were having a conversation. It's like Deji don't enter the amiable gang, girl. they enjoy the gist, where we the thing they sweet and the territory and for body in the talk, they took him out. Okay, so Fina and Amaka were gisting Deji all the gang gang that happened that led to beauty's disqualification okay so that's how sarkez now came on and put his mouth that okay that the reason why beauty called fina an hypocrite was because beauty actually knew that fina was eyeing groovy almost now so fina just changed and say ah what did she mean hey eh? she's a fool she no get sense she be educated illiterate that she that she not even make a move on groovy that the only time she told groovy she liked him was the second day they came and she said it jokingly that ah she said not even pg she follow talk and say ah guy you fine i like you you deal with person and beauty was and groovy was like ah now god hand i do and that was it then amaka was not like that she doesn't feel that way or that she she know that she she was making a move on groovy right from time because then she used to wear skimpy clothes just to get the attention of groovy and she knew that beauty saw that so most of them then they were no friends but she does not feel that and um, beauty was calling her an hypocrite because of that that she feels that beauty was calling fina an hypocrite because of the whole chomsy issue because obviously then when a uh, fina actually liked a uh, yellow swag and chomsy came into the picture that beauty actually went to go and fight for fina like she talks to chomsy that leave this girl alone and all that so that night that they did a saturday party that um Groovy was dancing with Chomzy that um, Beauty actually fled up. So um, um, Amaka now said that Beauty was actually expecting that Fina would have her back. And Fina was like, ah, uh, uh, she go have her back for that kind of yeti that she was wrong. That the way she put the guy off the dance floor was very irritating. That this and this, that and that. She was talking plenty that if it's true, true, because of that, beauty is calling her April okay, that beauty is a fool. She said it with her full chest. Say anyhow, anyhow, say if beauty won't collect, beauty go collect woto woto. Say she she know they fear anybody. She saying with her full chest. I was like, uh uh. Babe, take him easy now. She was not like and that she she was not even developing feelings for Groovy. That it was Groovy that was already catching feelings. Then again, guys, they were not talking about the whole Amaka and this thing that she's not feeling sorry for um she was not feeling sorry for beauty that at some point she felt like oh and these people when they get wahala and me they call me to but she was like i beg say she she no be marriage counselor she no be a uh, relationship coach that the guy come meet her and the guy catch feelings she grieve for him and all that that but she know they feel sorry for anything the amaka was not like uh -uh, if you go feel sorry for person and me you supposed to feel sorry for because me now your best friend she was like i beg leave that side so we're just talking on and on and on i was like she was serious eh? the amaka was like okay now that you you are great getting your points. Beauty yourself is getting a point. She was like, Me, she get an ad like she likes people to be prepared if they want to fight her and hold that. Like Fina was so serious that um, if she see beauty, um, bass boots go plenty, but she actually was insulting beauty. And I was like, and this is uncalled for now because of a guy. Well, guys, only did she know that groovy that she's even fighting for that she's cursing somebody for is already upstairs asking someone out like she does not know i really want to know how she will handle this when this one happened then again they were not talking about the old giddy fire issue and then she was not like eh, that he told giddy fire that the amaka likes him and all that i was like okay and Amaka already told Gifaya that uh, that she was the one that said uh, him and Diana had something special and all those things. So guys, like these people in this year, I'm a boy, last last they go still fight. Because the way Fina Gong was insulting beauty, guys, what do you think? For me, I felt she went a little bit too much, calling her a fool. Cause, but the issue there is, um, beauty was actually right. Because even beauty was feeling insecure that this girl wanted to take a man. Okay, like she handled it the wrong way though, but she was actually right. Because how many weeks later, you took the man and now you're calling her a fool that she's an educated illiterate guy so just leave your comments in the comment section i'd like to know your thoughts on this oh uh, amaka and then uh, fina insulting beauty just because she called fina an hypocrite for not helping her why has she herself was helping fina when fina had issues with the guy she liked what, what what's your thoughts on this guys just leave your comments in the comment section i'd like to know your thoughts on this who is right is fina right for insulting beauty is beauty okay beauty is no longer in the picture like is she right insulting the girl that okay yeah, you feel like uh, I was hanging your man when you were in the house. You're a fool, you're a hypocrite. Like, is it justified? The insults 
um, Fina was actually raining on beauty. Is it justified? I would like to know your thoughts on this. Okay, so yeah, guys, I've come to the end of this video. Thanks for watching. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you've not subscribed to this channel yet for more news, more gist, more updates from the baby Ninja level of mansion. I guess so, guys, like, come back again. See you all in my next video. And don't forget that I love you all. See you. Bye.